Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials and welcome to the last video of this playlist. This is all the content that I had prepared for this uh, playlist. If uh, I have something after this video, it's uh, something extra that I'm just adding because uh, I think it would be interesting for you to know. So with this, the, let's just start to the last topic. That's how can we fix our tests and we can have everything running with security. So if we just run all the tests that we have now, the integration test will definitely fail because now our endpoints are secured. Basically, we will have to fix this by creating some configuration inside the anime controller IT. Well, there are a couple of things here. First, the test rest template, we will need to create a custom bin. Why? Because the test rest template that we have here is using this uh, random port, but we don't have the required authentication. So you have several different ways to do it. The way I'm doing, I'm going to do here is the way that I think it's easier and will require, require us to change uh, fewer code. So first thing that we have to do is uh, create a class uh, internally. It could be a separate class, but I would like to do it internally because I want to get access to this port right here. Uh, yeah, we could, uh, could have access to this port in a separate file, but let's uh, create everything related to this test inside this class. Basically, I have to create a static class and I can call anything. I will call config because this is how the Spring documentation calls it. And then I will add here test configuration. So this annotation will make this a bin. As you can see here, we have this component. Now we need a configuration. Actually, we need two types of configuration because the REST template that we are going to have here is not enough. We need two different REST templates, one for a role user and one for a role admin. Let's start with the, the role user. So we need to create a method that will return a REST, a test REST template. And we can give any name. I will just give here test REST template role user creator and now is the tricky part when we are creating the new rest template we can use a rest uh, template builder new let's first uh, see what kind of problems we may face let's just return here new test rest template and we have uh, here basic authentication that we can send username and password so tab dojo academy and I need to use some annotation called here bin and I will give a name and this name will be test rest template row user and here I will use the qualifier and I will use the qualifier with value the one that I just copied. Okay, so now that we have this uh, configuration, as you can see here, there is one small bug. Oops, not this one. I'm missing the return. I will just run the first one. Let's see what happens when I run this one. Okay, so the first problem is that URI is not absolute. Since we are now replacing the test REST template, the auto wired is using this one and by default is not picking up the configuration that we have running locally. It means that it doesn't know about this port and also it doesn't know about the place where the that are running, in this case localhost. So I have to figure out how to solve this problem. We need to give the URI. Basically for all of this URI, URL, not URI, that we have here, we have to give like the absolute path. For that, we can do a quick trick here. We can create a new REST template builder. And here we can tell, hey, the root URI is HTTP localhost. And now we have the problem of the port. The port is right here for us but we cannot add this here because otherwise this is not a static. 
The problem is, if we remove static, this configuration will not work. Why? I'm not entirely sure. But I definitely know that it will not work. And you can see here. Let's do the, the whole thing. With... Uh, no, it's basic, not with. Basic authentication, and I can copy this guy. Again. And I just introduce a local variable, and here I will replace this test rest template constructor with this rest template builder. Okay, now I will start this application, and if I'm not wrong, this port will not be available there. Uh, let's just run this method. So, as you can see here, it couldn't find the the dependency. So I'm not sure why I would have to dig deeper into why the, the bin is not being found because we do have here everything um, set up correctly. So I'm not sure why the, the bin is not available when we remove the static from here. Maybe because this will be before this. Well, I'm not sure. I would have to do some tests and figure out why is not. If you know, leave uh, in the comments and I will ping your answer. So I need this port right here, but we have two problems. First, this port is not available because this is static and this will be available before the port is actually known. So we have to figure out a way to get this port. So that is one annotation that we could use here at lazy that will make this method available after the port it's uh, known by the server. But we have to remove this one from here because we are not going to use. And we have to add here at value from Spring Bing and we can get here the port. Do you remember? The port is coming from local dot server dot port. And we can add here int port and then we add the port right here. So this way, every time this it's uh, initialized, every time this configuration, it's going to wait for the port to be available for this lazy annotation. And then we will have this injected by Spring and we will have the, the URI, the root URI completely written inside this REST template builder. And then when we execute this test REST template, it will be available for us. So let's uh, check this. Let's run. And as you can see, we have a success. Now we have to just duplicate this one. And this one, role admin. Role admin. And here we have to change from that dojo to William. And then let's just refactor this one. Role user. And you then duplicate this one and you add this one as role admin and this one with role admin. So now that we have uh, everything to run, remember that we changed the delete. So just search for the delete. So let's copy this one. Why? Because we now have to test for failure. So basically this one, it will returns 403 when user does well is not admin and this one delete returns forbidden when user does not have the role admin and remember that we changed the URL to admin slash animes slash admin and here we change to forbidden and we don't need this body. And this one we change it to test rest template role admin and the URL we do exactly the same. Let's test everything. And we have all tests working. Let's try all of them to finish this playlist 
if all tests is working. So all tests are passing and with this we reach the end of this training. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your feedback in the comment section. See you.